Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you the farming route for the Ascend Material Lake Light Lily. This Ascend Material is currently only used by Farina as Ascend Material, as you can see. And I found in total 78 of them, plus one shop which will sell 15 of them for one time only. The only pre-requirement for this shop is to complete the world quest, the Wild Fairy in Erin Erinis. Also at this place, the Weeping Willow of the Lake. A lot of them in the center and some of them around will not spawn unless you complete the world quest. In fact, as you can see, before the world quest, there's in the center, the flowers in the center and some around the outline are not spawned because the lake is corrupted. Else, even without the world quest, you can still collect around 65 of them. I recommend you to get a double animal squad plus Kayan so they can reduce the stamina consumption and someone told to run. I will not use Yelan's skill, I will just use her to run because she is hotter when running. <laughs> and then just teleport to this teleport waypoint at the foggy forest path and come here at this location near to the flower. Here you will find two of, uh, three of them but when I was fighting with the Nahida I accidentally took two of them, so you will not see two of them, but basically the stew I took. I will also advise you to eat something to reduce, this, to reduce the stamina consumption, at least you can run and climb for longer. That's it. And from here we can just start. 3, 2, 1, let's go. Take this tree, 1, 2, and 3. After this tree, just to keep going in front of you, you will find the other two behind, below this rock. 1, 2, then just keep follow around this river. Here you will find another 1, 2, 3. And in the end, two of them here. One and two. Once you're finished here, teleport to this teleport waypoint here, close to the um, shattered vessel, and climb this mountain here. If you take a good angle, you can just run on it, just like this. Once you reach around here, you have to climb. If you have yellow, just use the yellow skill so you'll be able immediately to reach the top side. Anyways, once you're on top side, in front, in, close to this lake, outside, you will find one on the other side behind this enemy, two and the three. At this point, teleport to this level waypoint here. On bottom side. And go toward the north direction. You can immediately see them, two of them below that tree. One, two. And now just to keep follow the, uh, the road. Going toward the bigger lake at the northwest direction. Here we find some hillichurs, starting from left side. There's one, and then just go around the lake. Two, three, and four in that place here. Now teleport to this teleport waypoint here below the lock Urania, and go toward the southwest direction. Here you will find a small lake, and around it you will find three of them as well. First one is here, then go on left side, behind this rock, two and the three. At this point, go to this teleport waypoint here, close at the left side of the Lock Urania, and you will immediately spawn in front of this small lake. In front of you, two of them, and another one close to the mine. Nice. Now just to go downside. Jump down. You shouldn't be yeah, you shouldn't die by the way. Here in front be behind that bubble you will find a two of them. And at the other side of the river, another one. So one, two. And three. Now teleport to this teleport waypoint here again below the lock uranium. This time we take uh, all this around the lake. If you come here, if you see there's a storm, means you didn't complete the world quest yet. If you want a storm to disappear, you have to complete the world quest. Now, go across the river at the northwest direction. One, two, and three. Go back again to the other side, you will find other two there. One, two. Just to keep follow the uh, lake, surround the lake. One, two, and a three. Now, just to go across the lake to the other side, at the northwest direction. If you dive, you will go faster. So just to dive. Also, if there's a storm, diving doesn't affect the 
movement speed. Now get out. There's one inside the bush. And keep a follow the river, you will find other two. One and two. At this point, we can teleport to this teleport waypoint below the giant lake. Just to go downside. If you didn't complete the world quest, all the trees are yellow, but now it's blue. So, one, two. Go a bit in front, then turn your left side, other two below this tree. Three, four. Okay, now turn toward the west direction. I mean, toward east direction. One, two. Keep a follow this uh, uh, lake. Another two. Let's keep going. Here below this blue tree, another other two. Let's keep go. Now go across this small water pool. Here bottom side you will find tons of them. So one, two, three, behind, four, five, six, seven. Now go toward that one at the north direction. This one on left side. And in the end, here close to the river, behind these lines. Okay. Took this just to keep follow the uh, lake. Until you see another blue tree or yellow tree. You will find the next. Took in this one in front of you. Close to that small tree here, Basha, you will find a few of them. Now in front of you, we see another giant tree. One, two, three. Turn your left side. Other tree here below. One, two. And the tree. Now go across the. I mean, go to the middle island. If you didn't complete the water quest, your route is finished. If you complete it, then just go in the middle. And just, uh, yeah, on the island. There are seven of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Here we go, guys. As you can see, we took 78 of them. This is the correct number. If you didn't do the world quest, so you didn't get uh, all this from the middle and some from the surround, you should get uh, 63. At least 60. So 63 around there. And now, for who completed the world quest, uh, let me show you this shop. So teleport again at this teleport waypoint and you have to go inside this small tunnel, the entrance of the cave. Teleport again here. This time, uh, yeah, I mean, the route is finished, so just let me use yellow. For God's sake. Here inside, you will find a cave, and here is the NPC. This NPC is here, I repeat, only if you complete the world quest, while the fairy of Erin is. Talking to her, you can see that I brought some, I brought you some Titalga. This is the shop, and with 30 Titalga, you can buy 15 of them. So let's exchange, this is one time only, huh? remember? Okay, here we go. And if you count this, it's 95, uh, 93 in total. So that's it guys, hope this video helped you to collect the, light, uh, the lake light uh, lily. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye!